This is a quick video to show uh, what it looks like when you set up personal photo sharing. So the idea is to replace your reliance on Facebook uh, to bridge photos between you and family members. Uh, we've tried Dropbox and we've well, fulfilled it, plus you, know, you have to worry about their privacy policy. Facebook and you have to worry about their privacy policy, as well as people not having Facebook accounts. Uh, so I figured everybody has email. Email is probably the most universal way of bridging people. Plus, I like having my photos be mine instead of uh, anyone else telling me what to do with them. So what I did is I set up a server and I started building this personal photo sharing site. And so it's a pretty basic Drupal site. It just comes with two views, some minor flex slider configuration, as you'll see here. Um, it's mobile friendly. This is a mobile friendly theme, so you can scroll in from the sides, uh, which is nice. Um, but the idea is that everybody is able to add images and interact with the site via email. So, let's see, I can go to all pictures here and just real quickly let's see. Hey, there's always pictures of my kid. Um, but there's two main components of this that pretty much make the site a living thing. Uh, one is mail handler. So, the mail handler module basically allows you to harvest things from a, a, a mailbox. So I created a mailbox specific to the site um, and I've started telling people to upload photos to it. Uh, right now I'm just testing it with my wife and uh, my sister before I you know, open it up to everybody. But, um, the second part is the subscription module. I believe it's subscriptions or the download of subscriptions. So, Basically, I make it so all new content is automatically subscribed to by all users. You must have an account in order to use the site. And then I would tell them the email address. And they can send email. And as long as they send email from a matching uh, email address, it'll harvest it in and add to the site. So let's see if the new photo that I submitted via email comes in. So I'm going to run the cron. And then on cron job, it will download it if the email address is matched. So this is how you avoid getting your site spanned as well. Uh, so it has to match an incoming email address of an account that's, um, that has access to this site. Uh, and so you'll see mailbox photos is checked to contain one message. I know for a fact there are three there, which means two of them are junk mails. Um, it created one node, a cron ran successfully. So if we go back home now, there's this new picture that I submitted. You'll see it says sleepy little blob, and it's only for three weeks and boppy. Um, it adds it in to my old picture stack, and you see it's an image cache. You go to it. Um, now it's automatically subscribed to. So the two, you know, two photo content, uh, everyone is subscribed to this. So now because Cron ran, um, it sent me an email saying, you know, hey, there's new pictures on the site. Here they are. Uh, I'd like to get it a little more user friendly so it actually just has the pictures in it so people don't have to log in and go to it. But this is so far, the solution's working fairly well. I actually saw my wife go to it the other day um, and pull out pictures. Um, part of the issue with Dropbox was we were hitting the limit and we didn't want to pay a ton of money for Dropbox. Um, so I'm going to start opening this up to other people I know. But it just has a very basic you know, light box default series rather than pumpkin because of the goofball. Um, it's a very simple light box, defaults, flex slider, um, but the, the main things to set up are the, uh, an email address, and as long as you can email to the email address, you basically have a private site, because if I hit this web address and I'm logged out, I get nothing. So, that's it.